Hey, what's up guys? It's Ben here and welcome to a hands-on introduction to computer programming. Now this is going to be a tutorial series slash course uh, that will teach you the fundamentals of computer programming uh, through hands-on experiences in two different programming languages. The programming languages we'll be using are C++ and Python. Now, I will recommend that you use a Linux environment for this tutorial because we will be using the GNU G++ compiler for our C++ applications and we will need a complete version of that and that's just not available on Windows. I tried to do this series so that we could set up MinGW on Windows and use the G++ compiler that way and then I was running into issues with the build that they had and it was just all a nightmare so uh, I had to completely re-scrap the entire series and unfortunately I'm not going to be able to natively support the development on Windows. Um, so what you can do to get set up in an environment uh, that we'll be using, I'll be using Ubuntu for all of the videos, and the way that you can install that is if you're on Windows and you don't want to install it on your machine, you can go get VirtualBox, and it works very well in VirtualBox, assuming you have a powerful enough computer, which doesn't take very much. If you already have an Ubuntu environment set up, uh, awesome, we can get started right away uh, with installing a couple of applications and then just jumping right in. Uh, I also have a little bit on how to set up everything in Fedora, so if you're on Fedora, uh, you can also just watch to the end of this video and just follow the steps whenever we get to the Fedora part and you'll be ready to go. Okay, so let's jump right on into it and get set up on Ubuntu. Okay, so if you're on Ubuntu, the instructions are pretty easy. Just go up to your dash, and then type in terminal, and then just open terminal, and in here type sudo apt-get install genie. Hit enter, put in your password, and then just tell it that you want to download and install. And then just give that a minute, and it will download and install genie for you. Okay, so one optional package you can get is libvte9. So just type in sudo apt-get install libvte9, tell you want to download that, and that'll be a really quick uh, little download and installation. See, it's already done. So now if you close out of your terminal and you go to Genie, you open that up, and you have Genie. And down here, you have a nice little terminal window. And that's how you get set up on normal Ubuntu. Okay, so if you're on any other distribution of Ubuntu, you're going to want to just open up a terminal, and type in sudo apt-get install g++ genie and libvte9. Put in your password, and then just tell it that you do want to install that. That's going to be a relatively large installation, so just give it a little bit of time. Okay, and when that is all installed and ready to go, you have a genie. You can access it from the development menu. Here it is. And then down here at the bottom is your terminal tab. And that's how you get set up. Okay, so if you're on Fedora, you're going to need to get G++ and Python. So just go into your activities, show applications, and grab up your terminal. Then do sudo dnf install gcc-c++ python. Put in your password. And then tell it that you want to install those packages. Okay, and now whenever you want to go ahead and install Genie onto Fedora, what you will want to do is go into your Activities menu, Show Applications, Terminal, and then type in sudo dnf install Genie and VTE. Put in your password, and then Authorize the Transaction, and then Genie is installed and ready to go. So go to your Activities menu, type in Genie, and just open up Genie. And there it is, and here is the terminal tab. And that's how you get set up on Fedora. And there you go, you are all set up, whether you're on Ubuntu or you're on Fedora, or you're using one of those in VirtualBox, you are all set up and ready to go. And you can go ahead and move on to the next video, where we will be talking about the differences between a scripting language and a programming language, and we'll be writing our first two programs. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.